Welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family of Windenburg. In this episode, it is a mix between a funeral for the king and queen, or the past king and queen of Windenburg, King George and Queen Isabel. And we are also having, we're mixing it in with like somewhat of a coronation ceremony, which is pretty much going to be like a charity, uh, what is it called? A, a uh, oh, what is it? A oh, fundraiser, a charity fundraiser, a campaign fundraiser, something like that, whatever it's called in here. Um, and I've never actually done one of these before, so I, this is like, I mean, new to me as it is to you. First, I'm going to pay our bills because we need to do that, and our Princess Cora is calling. Of course, we want to talk to Princess Cora. Um, so we will do that. And so Princess Cora is pregnant. She, I think, is already in her third trimester. So she'll be giving birth very soon. So she might even give birth by the end of this video. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so we'll just have to see about that. But we will make, uh, we'll create, like, the event, the fundraising event. Um, because we're just going to have, like, guests from, like, everyone in the kingdom. They're going to come. They're going to, like, donate to basically, like, their their cause um I don't I have like this whole idea in mind and this is kind of what I'm picturing so I hope you guys kind of understand what I'm talking about I apologize for not being completely clear um you've spread some gossip about Princess May that's she's a baby though hmm I guess Princess May has already done something scandalous does that mean Princess May is like not the or she is the wild child then I guess she probably takes after her aunt princess Anna um so okay so he's paying bills and then we need to um do a social event so plan a social event and then that way uh we can start our coronation ceremony um and I'm just gonna call it a coronation ceremony I'm not gonna keep calling it this like fundraiser thing oh charity benefit party that's what it is okay so, um, charity benefit. So, like, boost their fame and, like, you have all these people coming to support. So, to me, that's the closest thing to a coronation ceremony as anything is going to get. Um, so we're just going to go with that. So, we are having the host is going to be Prince Henry and Princess Alice. Should I change their names before they come? Um, I'll, I'll do that, like, somewhat in the middle of the party, I guess. Um, and then we are going to, ha no, I should change their names now. All right, give me one second. I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, so I have changed their names. We now have King Henry IV and then Queen Alice of Windenburg. So this is exciting. Um, sorry, I'm like do going in circles because I just wanted to show you that I changed these rooms. I moved the throne room to here because I thought it was more fitting to have it um, with the like portraits and everything. Um, oh, oh, Princess Anna has a new fame cork, the emotion bomb. I can kind of see her have or her being an emotion bomb for sure um so we are going to go with prince henry or oh gosh i gotta get used to saying king henry now um so king henry the fourth i'm just gonna say king henry though uh so we have uh plan a social event and it looks like he's cleaning right now though but we want him to plan a social event the butler can get that it's okay and then we are going to have okay so we want Yes, the charity benefit party. Our host is King Henry and Queen Alice. And then our guests are going to be, of course, their sister. Uh, we definitely want all of the kings and queens here because that would be super important. So even though Queen um, Arya and King Easton of Oasis Springs, they don't... Why is King Easton not on here? I don't... He knows him. Doesn't make any sense to me. Why? All right. Well... I'll just have to invite him later, I guess? I don't know. Is Queen Elena on here? She should definitely be on here. I do not know why she's not. All right, whatever. We're just going to have to... Should I have Princess Alice make, like, the party plans? It's okay. All right, so Prince Adrian, King Derek Willow Creek. Um, he wants to invite his aunt and, of course, his sister. And Prince Edmund. Why is he not on here either? What the heck is going on? Okay. You know what? We're just going to have Princess Alice do this because there's a bunch of people who I want to come who are not on there. So they definitely need to be. Like, we want all of the kings and queens to come for sure. So I think Princess Alice should know them a little bit better. She's related to um, the, the royal family of Oasis Springs. So she'll probably know them better. So, okay. 
So, yes, okay, so this is a mix between a funeral... Oh, he doesn't have a microphone. That's okay. Put $10,000 in donations? Okay, that's a pretty big uh, goal, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is, it looks like everyone is in, except for King Henry, I wanted them all to be in their formal wear. So I'm going to change him into his formal outfit, and then it looks like uh, Queen Alice is already in her formal outfit. And we did get portraits done for both of them, so I'm excited to show you guys those as well. So it will kind of be like a big reveal when that happens. So we have King George's and Queen Isabel's urns are here because this is a funeral and a coronation ceremony. So the big deal is kind of like keeping their portraits here and then passing it on to here. It'll be like a, like a little ceremony thing that we have. So it's going to take some time for our guests to arrive as usual. I don't know why it always takes so long, uh, but they will hopefully be here with enough time to spare so we can get this done and also so we can get some donations. But why don't we start with getting donations from Princess Anna because she's technically a guest here, so it will count. So we're going to request for a large donation now because she we're, we're close with her, so hopefully she'll give us a large donation. She looks pretty serious. She's laughing. Oh, it looks like she did. She gave us a large donation, I think. Oh, maybe not. King Henry was really excited about something. All right, so that's a uh, Queen, oh uh, gosh, Princess Cora. She looks really angry and irritated though. I'm gonna find out why. Why is Queen Alice wearing her, no, you're supposed to wear your nice clothes. Outfits, change outfits. So I changed Princess Alice's outfits. Oh, it looks like I still have to change her other everyday wear. Um, but as you can see, like most of it is purple. And, oh, okay. Well, I forgot to change like her swimwear and her and her cold and stuff. So, oh gosh, I guess I just got distracted or something because I got most of it done, but I forgot about the rest of it. So that's fine. I'll do that another time. But I did change her outfit. So now she has more like queenly outfits and she is also the colors of Windenburg which is the purple and pink so that is a good thing um so we've collected 2,000 simoleons so far and then Princess Al or Queen Alice oh gosh Queen Alice has changed into her formal wear I saw Princess Cora up here somewhere I swear she was going upstairs maybe not maybe she decided not to okay so Queen Elena is here so that's Queen Alice's mother, and she is an elder now, so Queen Elena and King Derek are now, um, they are now, uh, what is it, oh, elders, uh, so they have aged up, I think, King Easton and Queen Arya of Oasis Springs, I'm not sure if they've aged up yet, I'll have to just double check, I think they're coming tonight though, so we'll see for sure, uh, and then I have no idea where Princess Cora went, but she is, like, going to have her baby in probably in a few hours. I'm hoping by the end of this. Is she taking a bath in her clothes? Whoa, what just happened? She's wearing a mud mask? Or she was wearing a mud mask. I guess she's just really... Maybe she was tense. So she had to relax, I guess? She is... I, I've changed her outfits now. So this is now her outfit. I'm debating if I want to keep it because this is her everyday outfit, actually. Um, so it's just like now she's the colors of Willow Creek. She's the royal blue. So it's weird to kind of see her in those colors. Uh, but she, I did keep like her same formal hairstyle. That's the one that she had been wearing. So that's fine. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is most of the guests, it looks like they're just kind of trickling in. There is Nina. Everyone is walking so fast. Uh, but there is Nina. So I want to talk to her and try to get a donation. So we'll thank them for coming first. Um, and then we will ask her for a donation. So I don't want to ask her mother for a donation if she's this tense. Um, I'm going to just try to request a large donation and see what happens. Why is everyone going upstairs? Is everyone going to go take a bath? Where is she going? Oh, she's pregnant too. So we need... It looks like she's only in her first or second trimester, though. Like, she's not that pregnant. Uh, but she will be having a baby shortly after Princess Cora. I think most of the episodes from now on are going... Or at least the next few episodes are going to be just, like, a lot of babies being born. So just a heads up. I don't even know if I should announce it to you guys that a baby's being born in each episode because otherwise, like, the next few episodes are just going to be a bunch of babies. So, I don't know. 
we'll see how that goes, or I guess how many more babies we end up having. Because Princess Cora probably wants to have at least two. I'm thinking Princess or Queen Alice and King Henry probably want to have another child. Not a hundred percent sure yet. All right, so basically, I'm going to have King Henry sit there, and I'm going to have Queen Alice sit here. We need more donations, though. That's kind of the whole goal here, is to get more donations. I don't think we're going to be able to have everyone sort of gather around the throne room, unless we, like, call everyone over. Uh, but I want them to be gathered there. Um, so that way I'm going to move all of their the portraits. So we're going to do that. So they are just there right now. So... Um, we can just kind of imagine everyone is is coming over here. I don't know where the rest of our guests went, but they'll just have to come in and join us later, I guess. So now we are going to... Ooh, whoa, that is way too close, lady. Oh my gosh, that is so close. Okay, so now we're going to do the process of moving the portraits over. So we're going to have King George, his father. Oh... Oh, no. <gasps> Baron Caleb, is he dying? No. Seriously? You're not even outside, though. Oh, gosh. This winter is brutal. It is just killing people by the dozen. Jeez. Someone commented um, on, on one of the, the video where Queen Isabel died. You guys commented that maybe she, oh gosh, okay, they're walking away. Um, they're walking away way, like very royally, though, along the red carpet. So maybe, oh no, that's not even Queen, never mind. I got her mixed up with her mother. Um, that wasn't, I thought that was Queen Alice, but it's not. Looks like everyone's going outside. I don't know why. Witness death. No, we don't need everyone outside. Because, oh gosh, everyone's getting turning blue. I don't want everyone to turn blue. Okay, this is a problem. Everyone needs to come inside right now. How do I... I need to fix this. Because this is going to be a problem. So change current weather. Change it to hot. If I change it to hot, will that be like... I don't know. I don't want it to be too hot. But that's better than the cold. Because I feel like everyone dies faster from the cold. So I'm going to change the weather really quickly because this is just like way too many people dying and I don't need anyone else dying, especially someone that we play with on the reg. So we're just going to make the weather hot and hopefully it won't be too hot because I couldn't find like a warm weather or in between weather. And hopefully that works because I know sometimes it doesn't work. Anyway, so we are moving their portraits over here. So, oh, it looks like I usually had the king on the right, so we're just going to switch them really quickly. Looks like we didn't get enough donations. Did the weather machine work? I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, oh gosh. Ugh! Okay, well, I, we're gonna have, oh, poor Baron Caleb. I don't know if he's related to this, actually. He's gotta be related to someone somehow. Looks like Princess Cora is taking it really hard. Looks like a lot of people are taking it hard. Oh my gosh, that is not what we wanted. And these people need to get out of the cold. This is just, like, they're turning blue. They, they shouldn't turn blue. If they're in their party outfits and there's a party, they should not turn blue. This is ridiculous. Can you guys please, please come inside? The weather control. Oh, good. Okay. Now it's hot. And everyone's going to warm up soon. Hold an inspirational rally. We could do that. Okay, so outfits, change outfit. And then his formal outfit. So then we're going to have him... Oh, why don't we hold an inspirational rally? So hopefully we can get everyone inside. Because, I mean, it's not cold anymore. But I think, are they still blue? They are still blue. Or Duchess Olivia is still blue at least. And so is he. Alright everyone, we get it. Come on. If I Usually if you reset it, it'll just automatically turn into the urn. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looked like he just melted away. All right, um, hi, King Harry and Baron Caleb. I know he just passed away. He passed away at our house. Thank you. All right, Queen Alice is still hanging out by the Grim Reaper. It looks like she's cheering right now, though. So I don't know why, but we're going to go here and be part of this inspirational rally. Okay, so our event ended, but that's fine. So we're still going to have uh, Queen Alice and King Henry sit here. 
Actually, you know what? It's really not necessary that they sit there. I just want them to. Um, but we're going to have them do that. And then so they can sit. And then where is Queen or Princess Cora? I don't know where she went. Um, did she leave already? Was she giving birth? I didn't see. I Well, that's definitely going to be the next episode is, is Cora giving birth. Um, who is this? That is, nope, that is Barky Eliza. Um... Let's see, can we, I just want to make sure to see if we can catch her, if she is here. I don't think she is, though. I don't see um, her, like, bright blue dress anywhere, so we might have missed her. That's fine. Uh, we are going to then, because I think it might be too early to invite her over. Um, so we're going to, let's see, Princess Cora, is she actually invite? club to hang out. Are we in the same club? Invite club to hang out. Oh, we're in a powerhouse club together. Okay. I guess we can do that. I guess, well, if I just invite the, I just want to make sure that she's here. Um, oh wait, we're not in the same club. Why did they say that? Oh gosh, I'm so confused right now. Okay. Um, powerhouse. Okay, and Princess Cora is in here. So I'm just going to start the gathering here um, because I just want her to be here so I can see if she is having the baby or not. Um, but that's definitely going to have to be the next episode. But anyway, so yes, we are going to put our portraits right here. Um, and so we have, first we have King Henry. So we have his portrait, King Henry IV. We're going to have to, ooh. All right, and then uh, print, or Queen Alice. So I might redo her portrait because her face is like really close. So I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but I just want to, I want to rename their portraits. So let's see, name we have King Henry the Fourth, and then we have Queen Alice. So there we go, Queen Alice. Cool. No. Oh my gosh, I can't type. All right, Queen Alice. So there, now we have inducted our new king and queen. Um, and there wasn't too much mourning, which is, I guess, okay, because like we don't want everyone to be too sad. But we're, I'll definitely move those over by the next episode. Um, so let's just see really quickly, because I do have to end this video. It's getting a little long, but let's just see if I can find Princess Cora here. I don't, let's see, is that her? That is her. Because now it's hot weather. So it doesn't actually look like she's giving birth yet. Um, but in the next episode, of course, she will. So I'm going to end this episode here. And then the next episode, uh, Princess Cora will have her baby. So we'll get to see if it's a boy or a girl. Because then whoever that is, we'll, we'll get to see if they have an heir to the throne for Willow Creek. So that will be exciting. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you thought of the coronation ceremony. If you think I should do it differently for the other episodes. Because um, Princess Cora and... Prince Edmund will also have to have a coronation ceremony when their parents pass away at Willow Creek as well. But don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment any suggestions, and we will see you guys the next episode.